We're in an old neighborhood in Bangkok called Bang Lumpu, which is home to the popular tourist attractions like the Grand Palace and Khao San Road. But this charming area has so much more to offer in terms of history, culture, and traditional snacks. So much coconut in there. We'll be your student guides for the day, so join us as we experience what old Bangkok life was like. So firstly, we need to give you some context as to why we're dressed up as Thai students today. So there's been this trend in Thailand that some countries like Taiwan, China, Korean tourists like to come to Thailand and dress up as students and to explore the city because they fell in love with some Thai movies and Thai dramas. And what's really unique is that we even can get our names on our shirts as souvenirs as well. And they usually come to this area, Bang Lampu, first because there's a lot of student uniform shops in the area. And also, it's very photogenic. I think you look really cute. <laughs> Three, two, one. Can you guess how old I actually am? I think maybe lower than 20. Wow! 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 Pretty much just grilled sticky rice dipped in uh, egg. And with salt, right? Mm -hmm. and, or soy sauce. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect cheap snack for students. <laughs> 10 baht each. the good old days in our area is threatened by the developments of economic, cultural, and changes in lifestyle that the community is trying really hard to remain as it was. And that's why we find some of these kind of cultural pieces down some of these small alleys in Bang Lampu. for some traditional snacks and we are just coming up to one that sells kanumbung and it is one of our favorite Thai desserts. We'll show you exactly what it is. Ah, look at that. Whoa. We tried kanumbung before but it never looked like this. No. This looks like there's a lot of filling yeah. inside. It's super loaded. But what is the difference between these and the normal ones? So we ordered two flavors. One is savory and one is sweet. So the savory is dried shrimp and dried coconut inside. And the sweet one is coconut and egg. <laughs> Such a mouthful. You know the original one is almost like airy. Yeah. The stuffing is very little and it has the white cream. Like the meringue. Yeah. But this is so full. It's sweet but it's not too sweet. Oh. There's so much coconut in that. It tastes like a macaroon. Mm -hmm. You know the shredded coconut kind of cookie? Mmm. Let me try that one too. So this one does smell kind of peppery, I would say. It has like green onion and cilantro in there. Mm. This one is really nice. Which one do you like more? I find this one not even as strong in shrimp taste than the original one. Wow. Oh. We haven't quite seen 
seen anyone else do that crispy pancake kanembeng the same way as this place called Me Pra Pa. Pra -pa. So we'll link their place in our description box below if you want to come and check them out. The river Rhine sings by the linden tree. Linden tree. Its melody, melody. is calling me. calling me. We are actually only 30 minutes away from the main Sukhumvit area. And out here you can see all these local street vendors that you don't get to see inside Bangkok. Mm -hmm. Which is so neat because it feels like you're going back in town. People are still selling what they used to sell years back. Like look at this store here. <laughs> oh, this is, the, this is the bag that I used to carry when I was uh, in high school. <laughs> That's so formal. It's like a briefcase. Yeah, it's like this. But you can fit your books in there. Just one or two books. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And these are the shoes. These are the shoes I used to wear. You can wear these ones to school? Yeah. Yeah. It's not like leather shoes that you have to wear? No, it's this. Like girls have to wear these, right? Yeah. It depends on the school. Sometimes it's black. Sometimes it's brown like this. But I remember one of the schools that I went to, I have to wear brown shoes like this. Oh. But I don't like the look of it. It's not cool. <laughs> so I bleach it. So what would it look like? pale brown like kind of whitish <laughs> because we just wanted to stand out so it looks cool but it's illegal against the school rules <laughs> she said you want the student <laughs> shoes <laughs> i'm so surprised that you only carry that small briefcase to school i remember carrying a huge backpack with so many textbooks in there. Like don't, you have, don't you have a locker to put them? Do you have to bring it home to study? <laughs> oh, you study! <laughs> <laughs> I did it back in high school, I did study. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit of the uh, nerdier one in high school, and I guess you obviously were the loud playing one. When I was in Thai junior high school, I didn't pay attention in school. If there was an exam, I would be the first one to finish, finish the exam. It. Yeah. And would you do like? Would you just not fill out your paper? No, just uh, guess. Yeah, guess. Multiple wow. choice. I would just put whatever in there. But surprisingly, I never fail a class. That's so crazy. <laughs> Is it luck, or are you actually kind of smart? You I'm, know, I'm, I'm secretly smart. smart. At guessing. <laughs> This one here. Oh, Singaporean inspired townhome. Oh. Yeah, they have this map that they give you at the Bang Lumpu Museum, which we went and had a little walkthrough, but we couldn't film inside, so we can't show you. So you have to make your way over there and see by yourself. But we did take one of these walking maps, and unfortunately, it's all in Thai. But they do give you all these locations of the unique buildings you can see in this area. So this place is called Batongo Cafe and it's been here since 1968. So it is a staple in the area of Bang Lampo. I think we need to go try it. Oh look! It has a Michelin guide. Don't remind him. They only got it for two years. Oh, they lost it the last four years. But it's okay. <laughs> Maybe it's gonna come back. Let's go try it. It is so hot. I can't wait to get an iced coffee or something. Because we're still in school, we need to eat a lot <laughs> to feed these brains, you know? Do your parents know that you're here with me today? Or do they think you're still in school? They probably think I'm still in school. <laughs> Back when I was in Thai high school, we used to go out and look for food to eat all the time after school. All the street vendors would be there. We gather around the vendors selling fish balls or meatballs, like sausages. Cheap, cheap snacks, mm -hmm. right? 
I remember I used to like go get like one dollar like Slurpees or something. But then I'm pretty much like I'm gonna go home. I never stay in my uniform and just go out and explore with friends or anything. I pretty much go home and maybe go to a friend's house. But in Thailand, you see students in uniforms until like 10, 11 at night still like eating dessert on the street or something like that or maybe they're helping family business or they just wear this like from day to night. We don't take them off until you go to bed. <laughs> so you don't need any other clothes if you were a Thai student. <laughs> Want to feed the fish? Let's go feed the fish. Well, the fish like this. Fish love bread. So this is our last stop of the day. This is the Pra Suman Fort, which is an 18th century fortress that's inside this beautiful park right next to the Jiao Praya River. Do you know one of these trees behind us is mm -hmm. called Lampu tree and that's why this district here is called Bang Lampu because Lampu means mangrove apple. Mm. There used to be a lot of mangrove apple trees around here but because of the flood they're all gone now. I think there's only one or two left. Well, let's go check out the riverside and see what's happening over there. I hear some music. Thank you so much for watching and joining us in Bang Lampu today. We're just going to enjoy the dancing and also the view of the Jaipur River. We will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.